Searching for topics and other documents is probably the most important repetitive task a content author performs. Since typical publishing projects contain large number of resources, this task proves to be time-consuming. The advanced search for resources feature has been continuously improved by adding a new view for finding resources in the current project or referred in the data maps currently open in the data maps manager view. The intelligent term indexing and search capabilities of the new open find resource feature returns search results in no time and allows the use of complex text search expressions like group searches or boolean searches. In this demonstration, we'll use Oxygen's sample files to perform searches in file names, in file content, and in reviews. Also, we'll perform XML-aware searches and use Boolean operators for complex searches. Our first task is to locate a data map in our sample project. To do this, we use the Open Find Resource dialog invoking the toolbar action. When the dialog is opened for the first time, Oxygen builds an index used for performing very fast searches. This index collects information from the resources in your project and data maps opened in the data maps manager view. Now that the indexing process is completed, we can begin to search for resources. We are looking for a data map that holds topics about carrying flowers. We we'll perform a search in file paths using the word flowers. We can see that the search mechanism filters the results as we type. Now we choose flowers.datamap and open it in the data maps manager view. Our task is to review the content regarding the usage of fertilizers. Again, we'll use the open find resource dialog and look for the word fertile in content. Point 4 of the procedure can be improved. We'll expand it to cover the usage of organic MPK fertilizers. Now we can remove the comment and save the document. To demonstrate how the indexing works, we search for MPK. As you can see, Oxygen already found the content we inserted earlier. This is because Oxygen automatically re-indexed the content. Now we'll search all reviews to brush up some of the topics. In the Open Find Resource dialog, switch to In Reviews. Note that Oxygen found 36 reviews, which can be filtered by type. Here we can choose between Comment, Insert, Delete, Insert or Delete, and Highlight. By Author or Date. A common use case is to search for the most recent reviews, like those added in the past 24 hours or past 48 hours. Also, we can use the filter text box to look for specific words. Sometimes you might not know the exact form of a term you are searching for, or perhaps you are interested in finding both the singular and plural forms of the term. Here we have two options. The first one is to use the asterisk wildcard. As we can see, we have three documents that returned exact matches of the word bloom. When we add the asterisk symbol at the end of the search word, we get more matches. Note that the word blooming was detected as a match. Another method to get the same results is to enable the prefix matches option in the open find resource preferences page. Enabling this option is equivalent to adding the asterisk wildcard at the end of each search term. For example, if we search for bloom, grow text fragment, 
we get a list of files that contain words deriving from our search terms. Growth, Bloom and Blooming in the first file. And Growing, Grow and Bloom in the second one. Oxygen supports searching for a combination of terms through logic operators. You can use AND, OR, NOT, PLUS and MINUS as logical operators. This allows you to refine the search results progressively and proves particularly useful when the volume of data is very large. For example, we can look for Bloom and Worm or shrub or trees. If no boolean operator is used, Oxygen uses the AND operator by default. You can change this in the Open Find Resource Preferences page. If we want to narrow the search even further, we can search for content inside specific XML elements and attributes. For example, let's search topic titles which contain the word spring. We can combine element-specific searches with Boolean operators for more powerful searches. We are searching for a topic that contains lilac in one of its paragraphs and spring in its title. You can use the Intelligent Search feature to search also in remote WebDAV repositories. We'll enable this option from the Open Find Resource Options page. Now we'll switch to the database perspective where we already have configured a connection to the Microsoft SharePoint server. We are checking out a data map and open it in the Data Maps Manager view. We'll invoke the reindexing action to process the resources referred in the remote data map. Now we are looking for a specific phone model in the remote data map which stores a cell phone documentation. As we can see, the return documents are located in the SharePoint CMS. The same functionality is available in the side view. Its main advantage is that you can dock it to the editor layout so you always have a handy tool to search terms in your project. And this concludes our demonstration. Thanks for watching.